This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Edit a WordPress Sidebar File Using a Text Editor. And this is considered an advanced tutorial because you're working with the text file uh, sidebar.php from the WordPress theme. So in this tutorial you won't be using the dashboard for WordPress at all. Uh, you will be using a couple other of, uh, software programs and I'll point those out because you need those to edit the uh, sidebar file. Okay, so here we go. Here's the site we're going to use for this tutorial. And in the sidebar, which you can see is over here on the right, there are some quotes. Uh, excerpts from testimonials and we're going to just replace this top one with some new text. So this this uh, theme actually has two different sidebar fi files so you can see if I click on a link here uh, we get a, a new sidebar that looks different from the first and that's a topic for another tutorial but just so you know you can do that you can have more than one sidebar file or more than one sidebar okay let's go grab the file that we need and to do this we're going to use a software program called fetch for the Macintosh this is FTP software FTP means file transfer protocol and that's used to upload and download files to a website a server in general. Okay, we're going to get this window out of the way here. Here is fetch and I've got it open. You can see the uh, folders that contain this theme folder. In WP content there's a folder called themes and in that is the folder called healing arts theme. That is the folder for this custom theme. And here is our sidebar file. Okay, so out of fetch, uh, all you have to do is just drag this over to the desktop. Okay, different FTP software programs have different ways of doing this, but they're all pretty much the same. Okay, now I've got a copy of sidebar.php on my desktop. Okay, and before I do anything else, I'm going to make a copy of this file. Okay, so on a Mac, I just uh, control click or right click if you have a, that kind of a mouse and make a copy. Okay, so this is this is our original without changes, and you should always be careful to make a copy of your original when you download it from the website so that you can hang on to that. Okay, you should do that with all of your files, but um, if you're just going to work on one, make a copy of the one. Okay, now I can open this up. And I am using here another software program called BB Edit, okay, which you can see. There's the logo. And this is very inexpensive uh, text editing software for the Mac. I recommend it. And the the best thing about uh, this kind of software text editor is that you can see that it makes the different parts of your text file. Although this is PHP, it will do the same for an HTML file. It makes them different colors. Okay, the different uh, features of the file and text in this case um, here's the what clients or what customers are saying is all in black okay otherwise what you have in just a standard text editor I'll give you an example of this is all in one color black or whatever and it's much harder to differentiate the parts of the file okay it's not impossible but it's easier with something like BB Edit. Okie doke, let's go grab the text that we want. And I'm going to put 
pull this right from here. Okay, this is the person that we want to use as our uh, testimonial. So I'm just going to copy this, Control C. Okay, and as you can see, we're not we're not in the dashboard at all, right? We're just using the text editor. So going back here, highlight my text that I want to change, paste that in. change that. So there's this long, uh, this is called an anchor tag that appears before the quote, okay, and the, the actual quotation mark is sitting out here because I don't want that to be underlined when it becomes a, a link, when the rest of this thing becomes a link, okay. So that's the only thing I want to be uh, have as a link, and that appears between the two anchor tags. Okay, go back to here and grab the name, copy that, come back and highlight the name in here between the two strong tags. That's what makes those, uh, or that name bold. Okay, and go back again. And rather than a location, here we have three time Ironman triathlon champion. Okay, and I'm going to paste that in. Notice that there's a space here, or rather after the closing strong tag, and I want to keep that space in there so that there's a space between the two bits of text. Okay, paste that in. Good. Now I'm going to save. Okay, that file is saved now. can go back. Uh, nothing has changed on our site yet because we haven't uploaded our new file. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Okay, now I have my original here, right? And here is the sidebar file that is changed. And if I drag that up onto Fetch, the same uh, folder, it's just going to copy right over. I don't know if you can hear that bark, but the Fetch barks when you're finished uploading. And if I click on the date here, there you can see. So I've ordered the files by by date. That's the most recent and it's sitting there at the top. Okay, so that did copy over. And now if we go back to the site and click on any page to view that. Okay, there's our revised text. My recovery time is noticeably reduced just as we want it. Okay, we're done. So what did we do? We changed text in the sidebar for WordPress using FTP software to download the file. Always make a copy, backup, and then we used text editor to make the change, and then we uploaded the file back to the server using the FTP software and we are done.